Furnishing your home. It's overwhelming, but where do you start? What questions should you know to ask when looking to buy furniture for your home? Well, I have the perfect guest that's joining me today as I'm sitting down with general manager, Bobby Garland, and interior designer, Robin Azevedo of Robin Stuckey, as we're gonna answer all of those questions and so much more. So without further ado, please help me welcome Bobby and Robin. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Before we start, I want to thank you for joining us today, but also, if you could, just hit the subscribe button below. That way you can stay up to date on all of the latest tips, trends, information, and inspiration right here in South Florida. So subscribe now and stay up to date. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Adam. We really appreciate it. Thanks for Absolutely. Having Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I'm excited about this because Robin Stuckey has been an incredible brand down here in Florida. There's a rich history behind it. Bobby, I've known you for many years, but let's start. Tell us a little bit about Robin Stuckey and really what it represents and what it stands for. Well, we're very excited to have, be on here today with you, Adam. And um, you know, I am the general manager here at Robin Stuckey. Robin is one of our top interior designers and in all of Robin Stuckey. So just excited to be here. Robin Stuckey has a long heritage in Florida. We actually were started in 1915. Mr. Rob and Mr. Lee originally started us. Mr. Stuckey joined a few years after that. Mr. Lee left a few years after that. And that's when we officially became Robin Stuckey. Um, we are currently on our sixth owner. In 2011, the new Robin Stuckey really started with a whole new executive leadership, uh, basically taking the best of the old and um, correcting some of the other areas and, and really just a phenomenal organization now. Um, and we're just happy to be here. We have five locations all throughout Florida, Fort Myers, Naples, Coral Gables, Boca Raton, and of course our beautiful showroom here in Sarasota. Absolutely, and really, I mean, I've been in the showrooms, they're absolutely stunning, they're beautiful. Robin, I know that this question is really gonna suit you well, but um, you know, what tips can you offer homeowners and also industry professionals when it comes to you know, buying new furnishings and really furnishing your home properly? The biggest thing is, and we, we always tell all of our clients this, is what makes you happy? What makes you want to stay home? What makes you want to enjoy your, your haven? Which more than ever, that's such an important thing with everything that we're going through in 2020. But we want you to personalize your, your home, your, your haven. Uh, we invite you to come into the showroom and look at our different lifestyles and be poignant as to what's important to you and what's going to make you feel comfortable. We show it here everything at Rob Stuckey. So we invite you to come in and see what makes your home comfortable to you. Absolutely. And that's the thing, like I've worked with so many different professionals and really a lot of it when it comes to hiring the right professional or selecting the right product or working with the right people really comes down to who's really willing to cater to you. Because as homeowners, individuals, it's so important to make sure that we're thinking about ourselves to make sure whatever we are purchasing or doing to our homes, you know, is really for us and what our lifestyle is. So I completely agree with that. And uh, it's refreshing to hear that because, you know, the focus should be on, on really whoever the client is. Um, you know, when looking at buying furniture and improving your home and um, all of that, are there certain questions when it comes to furniture in particular that people should focus on or, or even know to ask when looking to buy furniture? The whole real key is actually really knowing the answers. Um, you know, we have exquisite furnishings, we have brilliant designers, and we have legendary service um, here at Robin Stuckey. Um, our designers are professionals. We have all interior designers on staff. So they know exactly what to ask. So really the key for the homeowner is to have the answers and be realistic with your answers. You know, we need room measurements. And if we, you don't have them, we can go out and measure for you. Um, doing house calls. Um, know what your budget is. Um, have a kind of idea of the style you're looking for. So it's really more in not the questions, but more in the answers to know what kind of to go for to really help us lead each customer to make their home their dream home. That's a great point. And um, when, when clients come into your showrooms, are there certain questions that uh, your designers with in-house are you know set to ask like obviously budget is a big part of everything because obviously you know it's your job to make sure that you fit within a budget and make sure that it is the right product for them but are there certain questions in particular that truly stand out and Robin you might be able to um, answer that absolutely it's lifestyle it really comes down to how do you live at home who's in your home um, how much are you there are you there year round a lot of our clients this is their second and third property that factors in um, are there mementos that you have that you want to incorporate into the design um, 
And again, how do you live? Are there pets? Are there children? Are there grandchildren? And we, we tailor it to that client to make their lifestyle um, cohesive and inviting and certainly not intimidating. A lot of people come into our showroom. We hear this all the time. Oh, we were a little intimidated to come in and we are friendly, uh, adapting uh, company. And so we invite clients to come in and, and adapt to that. That's a great point because anything that has to do with home, home ownership or improving a home or doing anything to a home is intimidating. Like that's the perfect word because there's nothing easy about it. It's overwhelming. You don't, you know, but finding that right professional, just like what you guys just hit on is perfect. But, um, you know, I mean, that, that's, at, the real, yeah. that's the real key. What a lot of people don't realize is we actually stock over $3 million in inventory. So wow. if people need items right away, we can take care of that. And if we don't stack it the way they want it, then we can special order. Our designers can help pick the exact style, size, color, whatever that they want. So we can really customize quickly or special order either way here at Robin Stucky. And what a lot of people might not realize is, I mean, when, when we reference interior designers, I mean, you are interior designers. You go to people's homes. It's not just come into the store and give me all the information. I mean, you do in-home consultations, which is an incredible feature for you guys. One thing very important to note is that well, we are full service design. So that means we have flooring, we do the furniture, we do wall coverings, which wallpaper is huge right now, also very intimidating to the client. <laughs> Their window treatments and all of that can be taken care of in one house. And that, that's very important. That's not in every furniture location. That's actually something that I just learned right now. Um, I didn't know that you guys were as extensive as that. So that's incredible. And, and that's so important for the homeowner because, you know, part of the intimidating factor is that, you know, the homeowner feels like they have to go to one place and then go to another and then go to another. And then all of a sudden it's like, how do you bring it all together to make sure it's cohesive? You know, so that's, that's Super great, overwhelming. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> without a doubt. So when looking at furniture in particular, I mean, the fact that you stock is amazing because, you know, quick turnaround time, there's always those times where, you know, people want certain products right away. Um, but when it comes to home furnishings and, and, you know, purchasing furniture and decor, you know, what are the most important aspects to the product itself? Like, you know, whether it has to do with the construction or materials that are used, like what are those defining factors? Well, I would say anytime you're dealing with solid hardwoods and beautiful, um, beautiful finishes, that, that goes without saying. I would say the, I think the consumer knows that and I think they're well educated in that area. The biggest thing that we've seen really is in fabrics, there is an entire new category called Inside Out, which is an absolutely wonderful development for the clients. Um, they can spill something on it. We can wipe it off. We can use bleach. So you can use a fabric that has a beautiful hand that's done by Inside Out and not be worried about usability or livability. And that, that's huge. That's changed everything for us. We can use those fabrics inside and outdoor, which is a huge part of Florida living. Absolutely. And I feel like one of those trends is that, you know, living is everything. Like, I remember growing up, you'd go into someone's home, um, they have like formal areas, but I feel like all of that has kind of changed where it's just open space. And, you know, everything is, is, is the purpose is to be used. And, you know, whether it's grandparents who have grandkids, they want to make sure that their product's not going to get destroyed and families, you know, or, or pets or whatever it might be. I mean, there's a lot of factors that go into that to be able to be, be mindful of. You're exactly correct. You know, and, and a big thing with us is we actually try to break it down into lifestyles within our showroom. You know, we have new traditions, which is kind of traditional furnishings in, a, in today's era. Um, we also have what's called the district, which is kind of more transitional feel. Right. Uh, very, very popular right now. Of course, we have contemporary, which is the hottest trend going right now. And we, of course, we have modern beach because we live here in Florida. So have to have modern beach. And of course, we do outdoor as well. So, you know, we cover everything. We have a good, better, best story within our um, brands that we have here. We carry almost 300 brands. So that's we really can kind of the price point and everything else that anybody wants. And that's a great way to put it. Good, better, best. Because the thing is, I mean, there is a price range for everything. And that kind of brings me to my next question. Um, you know, if there was an area to splurge, like obviously in every factor of a home, um, there are certain areas that, you know, might carry more value or be a better statement. Um, are there certain aspects of furnishings and decor that you would say is the best area to splurge or really you know, focus on when it comes to spending? You know, our designers are really experts in turning any space 
um, into a livable work of art, really. Um, and they really focus on the consumer, like Robin said earlier. So, you know, they want each house to be really the personality of that consumer themselves. So that's a big key for us. Um, you know, areas to splurge, um, you know, of course, upholstery is a big thing. We do both fabric and leather. You know, we have wonderful um, Italian leather sofas um, that are simply to die for, so comfortable. Um, and of course, fabrics um, from many vendors as well. Most made here in the United States, which is great as well. Um, and, but, you know, upholstery is a big thing. A lot of people try to um, sometimes save money on this sofa in the family room because they're like, well, it's going to get used all the time. Right. That's actually yeah. a great place to really put more money in because that way it lasts and you really can have it from there. That's a great point. One very unexpected area always um, we, we need to educate the client and said invest in your lanai, mm -hmm. particularly in Florida, your outdoor space, the square footage wise, almost the same as your home. Uh, so it does not pay to not invest in your outdoor furniture. You want to do something that's powder coated. You want to take advantage of those umbrellas and those inside out fabrics. And that does require a little bit more of investment. Yeah. You can do that on the lower end, but you'll be replacing it in a year or so. So that is a major component of education um, to the client, which is repeatedly, we need to go over that with our clients. And I feel like that's a great point because the thing is people think outdoors are like, oh, it's going to get destroyed anyway. But, you know, Furniture is built to last. Like right. it doesn't matter if it's indoor or outdoor. And I mean, I even related to myself. My parents have uh, some outdoor furniture that actually my it's. I mean, it's made out of iron. And but my it was in my father's home growing up. But there's so many different things, whether it's wood or if it's metals and powder coated and things like that. You know, invest in what where you're going to spend your time because you don't you don't want to have to replace it every year. And actually, that actually becomes more costly than buying a quality piece of furniture. So, um, you know, when when looking at everything, also like when when going into the furniture, Bobby, you mentioned Italian leather, something that a lot of people might not realize. What is the what is what's the differentiating factor when it comes to Italian leather leather? versus, you know, made somewhere else, whether it's in China or another country? Um, well, I never talk, like to talk bad about anything, so I'm just going to talk about positive. Yeah, exactly. Um, that would be a great point. Italy, Italy has um, always been known for quality leather and all products and handbags and, you know, all kind of fashions. Um, and, of course, in furnishings as well. Um, and they really, the, there's a couple different things to pay attention to in leather. Uh, first off is actually the leathers themselves. Okay. We only have top grain leathers, which are the best leathers out there. They have the best hands. Um, tanneries have improved so much over the last 10, 15 years. It's amazing what you can get from tanneries anymore. And we only have the best leathers. Most of our leathers do come from Northern Europe, uh, which is where the best leathers come from. Um, there's some other areas um, that you know, have lower quality leathers. Um, and a lot of people also advertise all leather. Well, all leather doesn't necessarily mean top grain leather. It just means that it's leather, but it's normally a lower hide. Um, and so it's just, you know, that's kind of where we get into. Our product is actually handmade in Italy, um, but it's actually made for the American market. So it does have a higher seat height and people just simply love it. It's actually one of our best friend, um, best selling manufacturers that we have. That's great. So, you know, it, it, like, it will, you know, you'll get more out of it and yeah, obviously it will last longer. And Robin, I know um, when it comes to all different types of design styles and furniture and colors and textures, you know, trends is a word that some people gravitate towards, other people try to stay away from. Um, you know, what trends do you see in the furniture industry that you see people really gravitating towards these days? In today's market, by far here in Florida, the modern beach is really something that people feel very, very comfortable with. It's something they feel they can grow with. It's taking, um, maybe bits and pieces of organic things that you would find on the Gulf, those Zen types of colors, the creams, the blues, the turquoise, and then meshing that with contemporary items, making it very livable, all different price scales. You can go super high end to super affordable and achieve a wonderful livable look. Uh, and I think that a lot of people are moving here from different areas of the country and they're grasping that concept like, oh, this is what I want. I want this haven. I want this relaxability, but I still want some fashion. So the modern beach definitely is the broadest market.
Uh, absolutely. And, and it, it definitely is relaxing. It kind of just, it's incredible how just the way that a home is furnished and decorated, it really gives you the ultimate feel and perspective as far as whatever you're looking to achieve. So people need to be mindful of that. It's not just throwing furniture together and you hope it works. I mean, everything has it, it has its place, color palettes, everything. So um, one other question in regards to trends, um, kind of going on the other spectrum, um, timeless design. You know, what what type of what do you see when it comes to design and what are the best ways to um, implement and, and put furnishings into a home that will make it more timeless? Really, that, that is so individually. Um, it depends on the client, to be quite honest with you. Um, quite often they have collectibles that would dictate that it would be a timeless design. Um, it, it's a matter of layering, in my opinion, to yeah. make it timeless. And that can be mixing traditional with modern beach and contemporary. So again, it's so individualized. That's a super question to answer. Absolutely. absolutely. That's a great point because the thing is there, there's so much mix when it comes to design and um, you know, the personal element is the key to everything because there are ways to be able to make everything work. Um, you know, we've discussed a lot today. Um, Bobby, what's the best way if somebody wants to receive a consultation? I know that you guys have the five locations. Uh, maybe mention that again. But, um, you know, what's the best way if somebody wants to reach out to you? Yeah, the, really the best way, you can visit any of our five locations. Again, Fort Myers, Naples, Coral Gables, Boca Raton, and Sarasota. You can go to our website, www.robstuckey.com, R-O-B-B-S-T-U-C-K-Y.com. Or you can call us here in Sarasota at 941-702-8400. And we certainly would love to help you. Perfect. Is there anything else that we didn't cover today that we've covered a lot and it's been incredible information. I know for myself, I'm a lot more comfortable going into buying furniture and improving my home, but is there anything else that, you know, that you'd like to add to this conversation? My last little note would be on that trend thing. Yep. A really big trend right now is actually neutrals all throughout the house, the whites, the grays, um, and grayages and beiges. That's really popular right now. And what that does is allows a customer to really kind of furnish the whole home. And you can pop the color with the rugs and accessories and artwork and everything else. If they ever want to change the color scheme, then they just have to change the artwork and rugs and everything else instead of changing the whole room around. So that's, that's a great point. Very on trend right now. That's, that's a great point because also going back to that whole pricing, everyone, budget is a big part of everything. You know, if you spend smart, it's going to last. So you know, change the things that you want to change are more accessories and things like that, which might not be as expensive. But, you know, I want to thank you both, Rob and Bobby, you both have provided so much information. I can't thank you enough. Um, but for everybody that tuned in, I thank you for watching. Uh, you can always find us on our website at homeshows.net. You can find us across all of the social media platforms at FL Home Shows. But make sure you subscribe to our YouTube so that way you can stay up to date on all of the latest tips, trends, information and inspiration right here in South Florida. So Bobby, Robin, thank you again. And uh, we'll definitely be speaking soon. Sounds great, Adam. Thank you.